Let me ask you a question on the benefits of an HOA. Hmm. You know, some people like to oh, some people are cheap. <laughs> yeah, I, <laughs> let's I be honest. And sometimes people are like, oh, I got to, you know, they want to avoid it because it's right. too high or this or that. But then there's benefits from right. having an HOA. So give me your uh, perspective. Yeah. So perspective on, on HOAs are, you know, they, they can be good and then they can be overreaching. Right. And it really just depends on you as a person, kind of some different things that you want to do at your property. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, I think those things matter. But I think there's a lot of great um, benefits to HOAs, like, you know, in, in ones that I'll, I'll just say in ones that I've lived in. Right. You can't have a car parked out on the front uh, more than 48 hours on the, on the front of the house. Mm -hmm. Right. So just things like that. So somebody's not going to be working on their 67 Chevy out in the street or even out in their own driveway that it's just not allowed. Right. You're gonna have to move that. So, and I like 67 Chevys. Yeah. Don't, don't, I don't understand. take, don't take me, Sounds don't great. take that the wrong way. Yeah. But I, I'm just saying like, you know, a, a rundown boat or a rundown motor home or, you know, those kind of things. I, I don't crazy that paint part. work. Yeah. I don't want that parked next to my house. I don't want to live next door to a pink home. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right? Well, HOAs, help with those kinds of things and there's just a standard of living mm -hmm. um, that is i guess maintained by hoas yeah that yeah. i actually appreciate the but the that's not for everybody the beautification that they do outside of your home in between the houses and on the hills i mean we love it here at our office it's but like but wonderful. for you know but yes. but wayne like as an example like there are you know, price differences. And so people look at an HOA and say, that seems a little higher than like this particular community. Correct. You know what yeah. I mean? So, so, I mean, some HOAs, all they really do with your money is maintain the entrance and the exits, right? right? Some HOAs have ponds and pools and water slides, and, you know, they've got a lot more to maintain. So you're going to pay a little more, but you should be getting something. I mean, some HOAs mow your front yard right really yeah oh absolutely yeah light farms mustang lakes i mean some of the ones right here in our own backyard they take care of those kind of things because they want more of a uniform look Interesting. so they don't want somebody that doesn't mow their yard messing up the whole block uh -huh. so they do it for you well that's like in, that. in your hoa dues we're going to pay for that either either way right, right. you're either going to do it yourself but it's also gonna... maybe a less headache oh, that you have to deal with yeah so. for sure it is because you don't have to worry about it being scheduled everybody's yard gets mowed the same day they just go zoom 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 zoom, zoom right down the right down the and, and, and i've got no complaints with regards to the taxes here uh, i mean the way that they are building wonderful schools i'm talking about you know k through uh, uh 12 and 12 uh, high schools are beautiful. Uh, Adam's got a great one right in his new Yeah, Walnut right Grove, man. Yes, yeah, so Walnut Grove has kind of become internet famous, even on ESPN, ESPN. and all kinds of crazy places yeah. here in the last couple of weeks. So, what yeah. did I miss? Man, ESPN featured it. Yes, yes, as one of the nicest high schools uh, ever to be built, and I've been able to be in it and see it, and it, it is pretty fantastic. But the truth yeah. is, all of our high schools are. Prosper High, Rock Hill High School, and Walnut Grove now, yeah. and, and then they just broke the ground on uh, number, to number four. Windsong, right yeah, over closer there? To, closer to Windsong Ranch. That'll be called Richland, uh, I believe. So they're all nice. they're all named after the communities. Rock Hill was a community here back in history. Yeah. Walnut Grove was a community here back in history. Richland, uh, I think, was what Prosper was originally named, and then they had to change it so it was a community called yep. richland but it wasn't a town called richland because somebody else already had that so some interesting uh prosper history as right? we yeah. try to continue informing and entertaining yeah yeah y'all right, hear, right. hear that i mean i'm telling you man we're breaking we're, we're on espn now showcasing our high schools here there's a reason why prosper and salina are making big big uh just noise out there in the real world but again throw out your information for all of our listeners interested in prosper or salina yes sir wayne bartley of course at monument realty 972-658-5108 972-658-5108 i look forward to talking to you more to come live here on living the good life thanks again wayne